my presentation today is um, dialogue based on the issue of dialogue uh, between Israelis and Palestinians and talk about challenges, losses, compromises, and gains. I'm going to talk about them separately, uh, um, and, and I'm going to invite you to read uh, two, uh, two articles I've written, because I think that's uh, a more extensive and, and scholarly um, uh, uh, pieces of work. Uh, one is from my, my book, uh, Choral Music and Global Perspective, which is uh, listed in the, in the references at the end. And my uh, uh, my uh, article um, published in the in Minad, um, the uh, Israel Journal of Musicology. The the challenges are several, and and I'm going to talk about them, and you will see them uh, in terms of uh, of segregation. Uh, Israel is divided, uh, and Palestine, Palestine is divided into into fairly rigid segregations, and 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 I've um, once again, the the references are there at the, at the bottom of the of the message of the of the of the PowerPoint presentation, and and you can actually see uh, see what I'm talking about in the uh, in the in the PowerPoint. And uh, this question of segregation means that that Israelis are uh, kept apart from 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 the folks in the West Bank. Um, uh, uh, secular Jews are kept apart from uh, um, relig religious Jews and so forth. To bring people together, we started a project, my colleagues and I, called the Community Heart Song Project uh, many years ago uh, to, to bring uh, is, is Jewish Israelis and 1948 uh, Palestinians together. And we called it the Community Heart Song Project. And here's a photograph from, from this particular project where you, where you can see uh, young people um, uh, making music together, and and it was framed around the idea of dialogue, the idea that you you need to meet together, sing together, and actually speak together. And we discovered that for these teenagers in this fieldwork and in the interviews, that the that the that the young young people, teenagers uh, from uh, from the north and uh, Palestinians and and uh, and uh, Israeli teenagers had very, very little uh, that was different. Um, on the other hand, uh, the you can see this photograph that, that of my work in in the Israeli West in the in the Palestinian West Bank, where where the where, where the where the children there had no connect no connection no contact with with Israeli teenagers and Israeli young people, these are not, were not teenagers. And so, so their, their concept of who, uh, who these Israeli young people might be was completely different. And, and these stark realizations came, came to, to this issue of, of loss. And, and I've talked about losses in different kinds of ways. So, so if you think about, about loss, just sheer loss of contact and how walls uh, create these barriers to understanding. And uh, to that end, um, uh, many years ago, uh, it is part of the Community Heart Song Project. We started, we, we tried to create a community project in Jerusalem and the church closed its doors to us because um, the church didn't want to, to be seen to uh, support normalization. Uh, we had we had uh, planned a concert in a church, so these are, are severe uh, issues of losses. And when I come to the issues of compromises, some of the compromises that we make and that we have made. So I'm going to talk talk about uh, one specific issue of compromise. Very often, when when people outside look at a, a dialogue between Israelis and Palestinians, they 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 imagine that that people can come together. Um, across the divide, so to speak. But the divide, particularly, particularly if there's a wall, if you think about Palestinians who live in Gaza, Palestinians who live in the West Bank, and Palestinians who live in Jerusalem without nationality, and Palestinians who live in, in, uh, in the 1948 St. Galilee, who are Israeli citizens. And you can see that these compromises mean uh, that sometimes you have to work with the people you, who actually can travel. 
uh, to be together. So, so our, our project, um, and this is the uh, Common Ground Voices project, is a project that actually works with people who can be together because, because the walls don't prevent that. And Common Ground Voices started in 2016 as an Israeli-Palestinian international initiative. And you can see here that, um, that the, uh, of the goals of it. And we discovered that the dialogue was, it takes at least two forms. One is the dialogue that happens before the music making, after the music making, during the music making and so forth. But the other aspect of dialogue that we talk about is the fundamental issue of working through the music. So we actually talk about music making as dialogue. So community music making that, that says this Jewish song and this Palestinian song, this Israeli song, this Palestinian song will be somehow fused together. So we don't, we no longer territorialize our songs, that this song is no longer my song, that this song is no longer your song, this is our song collectively, and we can speak about, about uh, the things that matter so much to us through this music making, this artistic creation together. So I think that um, in, uh, this is a, a performance of, uh, is, uh, of Common Ground Voices, it's, we can see just um, that my final slide there that um, uh, we, our work is not only in performance, but our work is, is, in, is in dialogue and workshops. Uh, and, uh, and last year, which was very, very significant, actually year before last, um, we did a project with, which is one of our, my, our great triumphs with, uh, with uh, uh, Orthodox, ultra-Orthodox religious Jewish people. So our, the, the men from our ensemble, uh, had a, a workshop with men uh, who are out orthodox religious men and and our women uh, uh, engaged with out orthodox religious women they they do not allow gender gender collaboration cross gender collaboration so we we were able to do that but this was an important thing because in fact secular jews don't ever even have experience of singing with um, with these um, out orthodox religious jewish people so this was a moment of, ex of, of extreme humanity for, uh, for the people um, on all these sides of this very, very problematic terrain that is politically problematic as well as um, everything else. And um, here are the references.